we have the ambitious goal of uh, having the stadium open um, in 2023. Now a pro soccer team heading to Knoxville is showing interest in playing in a new downtown stadium. That deal isn't done in part because city and county leaders have yet to approve the overall project. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith gives us an insider's look at what it will take to build a multi-use stadium on the downtown site within two years. After years of talk, leaders gave us a date earlier this year for when we could see the Smokies play ball in downtown Knoxville, spring of 2023. And so our timeline's not changed. You will see in the month of May, we're going to try to have an organizational meeting of the Sports Authority Board. Chris Caldwell is the CFO for Knox County. He says that meeting will be the next step we'll see. Or well, development agreements, lease and construction documents will be finalized. Then they'll look at private development agreements and issue bonds. Not quite as much money as originally planned, which is good, thanks to $13.5 million from Governor Lee and the passing of state legislation that allows captured sales tax to pay for the project. Yeah, I think it was a great vote of confidence from our state. Stephanie Welch is deputy mayor for the city of Knoxville. Neither the city nor county have money going toward the stadium in their 2022 budgets. They'll reassess as infrastructure costs are uncovered. A main water line that goes through that property that has to be relocated. Nothing is set in stone yet. There are lots of pieces, documents, and community meetings left before anyone plays ball, including persistent opposition and doubt from some people in Knoxville. We're still early in the process. We look at this opportunity and realize that how important it is to make sure that it makes sense for our community and that we are bringing the community in. In Knoxville, I'm Shannon Smith. Again, the project must win approval from both City Council and County Commission. Those votes should happen this summer, and if the plan holds, developers plan to break ground in the fall.